Good morning, guys. So I have some good news. The well company came and fixed the well. So uh, luckily, it wasn't a dry problem. Um, they had to replace the gauge. Um, for some reason, it worked. It usually worked every morning. And what it'd do, it'd pump the water into the house. And then after that, the inside gauge would go down to zero. And then um, I wouldn't get water for the rest of the day. But all they had to do is replace the gauge. And then now it works. So there is enough water. It's been working perfectly fine since they replaced it. So that's really good news. Um, you know, the other alternative would be that they'd have to probably drill deeper and um, that can get a little expensive. So luckily it wasn't that expensive. So now that's taken care of. I'm trying to get uh, take care of some things before I go back to the Philippines. So that was one of the main ones. Having water is important. Uh, and the next one, my room is actually on the other side of this. And the bad thing about having a log cabin is that the wood does go bad after a while yeah it's a upkeep almost every year we do something like this on a different side of the house but anyway you can see this wood here is starting to get soft and at night time uh we actually already took this apart it wasn't like this before you could barely tell that there really was much wrong um but in the inside when i go to sleep i could hear uh termites actually like uh, it's like a clicking sound pretty much them just moving around and eating, destroying the wood. So um, we came out here and we realized that a lot of this is really soft. So we've been uh, cleaning this up, trying to get as much as a soft part. Look at that, I mean, it's like falling apart. So that's our project for today. It actually has been raining a lot. So now we are trying to work around the rain So that's what we're doing today. So we're gonna try to get out as much as we can. And then we'll replace it with uh, some cement. We're gonna go get some mortar at the store. But look, there's some, some bugs. I'm not sure that's, I don't think that's a termite right there, but any kind of bug is bad. You can see how something is living in there and just tearing apart the wood. So this is like an every year thing. Um, throughout the years, we actually had bee problems in years before, and that was in the front. So we had to take out all of this, all of that on the bottom, and uh, eventually now it's this side. And during COVID, when I was gone, uh, when I was locked down in the Philippines for two and a half years, they, my dad and my brother replaced this. You can see this is all cement. So now this year is going to be this. You can see there's bees here. Those are wasps. Wow, look at that. If you can see that from the shot, from the glare, you can't really see. There's some bees right there. So I'm going to get rid of those as well. There's a nest. But right now it's pretty much wherever there's soft stuff. That's not so bad, but we'll throw some mortar up there. And then this is, this is probably the worst power right here. But anyway, this is what I'm doing for today. Uh, I'm going to get this cleaned up as much as possible. Then we'll go to the store, get some supplies, and try to fix this up. We, we want to get us, get this out for it to dry. And today, hopefully it doesn't rain so much, but everything is a little wet right now. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. We're going to go get some supplies and clean this up a little bit. And we'll see you guys later. Yeah. We just took a couple boards off. They're all over here. Yeah. 
thousands and thousands. Wow. Look at them. Feel straight through here. We sprayed as much as we could with this. We're gonna go back and get some actual termite spray and just spray the crap out of this area. You really wanna get this rake back, the ground, and spray a border around the house as well. So that's what we're gonna do. We actually didn't see too many termites on this area and it was pretty bad here. I've been spraying this just with vinegar and uh, like lime juice. That's supposed to help pretty good. But this time we're gonna get some termite spray and really spray this area. This is the worst part. But right now there's really, oh, uh, there's, there is a few before compared to now. We're not gonna put anything up until all these termites are gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he got he got me first, so I was just getting him back. <laughs> right. So we're cutting this like a jigsaw. We cut this around this way. That one fit pretty good. Now we're just started on this one. Not too bad for the first Man. go around. I'm as good as Julio. What's his name? <laughs> Houdini? <laughs> <laughs> the carpenter that you have in the Philippines. Oh, um, there's a there's a Baludoi. Baludoi. Baludoi, yeah. Baludoi, if you're watching this video, how are we doing? <laughs> so we're getting there. We're just getting everything ready right now. We're still letting this dry out, and then we're gonna get some spray. Spray it again. Make sure there's absolutely no bugs inside. And then we'll start uh, putting the wall on. All right. So this board is gonna go in the middle. Since a lot of the wood is hollow, we need something to nail to. So this is, we're gonna put this inside. <laughs> So now we'll have something to nail. We got this board. Let's see how we got a cut there. And now it fits perfectly right there. We'll put that down and then we'll have something to nail to. Now we'll have to make this one. I'll have to get some screws or something long enough. Now I'm here, I got some nails long enough to get to that other one. Up against that, ain't it? Yeah, that looks pretty good. And it's up against that one, a nail too. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to get the materials now. So if anybody out there has a termite problem, before you spend thousands of dollars, just call us and we'll do it for we'll do it for twenty bucks. <laughs> At least half the price. We called the termite place and it was pretty expensive. So uh, I think if we just get the spray, spray it as good as we can. I think we should be in good shape. So here's the welcoming band for Lowe's. 
Don't fear the reapers. <laughs> That's cool. Man, it feels good in here. It's 90 degrees outside right now. You're gonna feel every single degree. So here's Lowe's. Last time we were in Menards. All right, we're gonna try to find some um, termite spray and then some mortar and then some caulk. And that's about all we need. Luckily I had some wood the house. We're able to use that. This is one of uh, another store. Menards and Lowe's are the two that we usually go to. And they have absolutely everything you can think of. Some lawnmowers, fans. So here's some of the termite spray. Weed stop. Weed and grass killer. There's ant roach spider. Liquid roach bait. Probably all of it will work. Here's some insect killer. We might end up getting some like that. It says six month control. Stump remover. Oh yeah, stump remover, wow. I never heard of that before. Usually we just wrap some chains around the roots then pull that with my Jeep. That's what we used to do when I had my old Jeep. Here's some protects, prune, trees, and shrubs limbs. Ah, this is what last time when we uh, took the limb off at my dad's house, we painted it, but here's actually a pruning seal. All right, so we found the termite section. That's what they look like right here. Luckily, they're not that big. <laughs> What if they're that big? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> they're actually really, really tiny. All right, so this was around 65 bucks. We got some mortar and then two bottles of termite spray and some two bottles of caulk. And then we got a bigger one of a bigger spray for the termites. So that should do the job right there. All right, so we're about to spray. This one's already mixed. It should be good to go. Get that spot right above you to the left too. Yeah. All right. I'll use it all. We got a lot. Yeah. And actually, I don't see any right now. So yeah. we yeah. sprayed the uh, other spray a little bit and vacuumed all up. So right now we don't even see any, but there were a lot. Well, they went in the inside. They're in <laughs> what? <laughs> They're in the inside the logs now. And now they moved to a different area. Yeah. <laughs> It'll, pre it'll prevent it from eating all this out again. Yeah. And this is guaranteed for like two or three weeks. So <laughs> it should be pretty good. <laughs> two or three days. They'll prolong your house two or three more weeks. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a little wand on here too if you want to extend it. Oh yeah. Mm. And When you're done with this, you can take it to the pool, wash it out, <laughs> a little, little spray gun fight. I'll get all the bad parts first. All right, so we're trying to get all the leaves and stuff away from the house so we can spray this stuff there. Well, my brother was over here. He was blow. He was blowing the uh, leaves way over here, and he actually got stung two times. There must be a nest over here. I want to see if I can get a little closer and see where they're coming in at. Whoa! I just saw one go by. 
They're definitely coming in and out pretty fast. Oh, I can see them right behind there. All right, I'm gonna sit back here for a minute. We just sprayed some of it. You can see them starting to swarm around. So this is the first time we know of them, them coming on this side. They came in the front of the house before and they actually destroyed our logs there. So we had to replace all them. And then now they came over here. So yeah, that's our drainage right there. That comes right from our sink, but it doesn't look like they're coming there. They're beyond it. Good thing this shoots pretty far. They're, they were all over though. When my brother was blown here, he was actually inside there, behind there, like right in the nest. So, and these are the little bees that really hurt. You can really see them on this side. I'm gonna try to get close up, but they're everywhere. I don't wanna get stung, but I do wanna spring them. So now we have a bee problem over here. Let's see if I can get him a couple sprays. Good thing this one shoots from back here. These don't chase you. At least I don't I was, see them over here yet. I was watching a video the other day. Uh, <laughs> some guy was on a motorbike and a big python was in the middle of the road. Yeah. So he goes, stops the bike, crashes it inside, runs back and gets his buddies. They were probably about a quarter mile back. They come running up to this, get this python and it was in the bushes. <laughs> And they're sticking sticks in there, and the guys running, and they're tripping over each other trying to get away. You know, they, they come back and stick, then they trip away. Oh, man. So the python was coming from the mountains to eat ducks. Eat ducks, really? Eat ducks, that's what he said. Well, there's one I saw, it was a python, and it had a cat. And it took like three people to get the cat loose from the oh, python. Really? Yeah, the python finally just kind of went away, but they're huge. How big was this one? Like at least. Oh, Eight feet or something? Feet well, 20 feet, wow. Yeah, at least it was huge. So at least we don't have pythons here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were really scared of it, man. They were like, they were falling over the road trying to get away. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd be a little afraid too if it was yeah. a 20 foot python. They kept coming back with a stick to poke at them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why women live longer than men. <laughs> it's really hard to tell if they're slowing down at all. This does say carpenter bees on there. It does look like it's working a little bit. The bo this bottle's almost gone. We have one more bottle. The last time we just put the vacuum cleaner, the shop vac, and put them right by the hole and it sucked so many up. It might be a little more challenging to get back there. But it looks like it's starting to slow down a little bit. All right, guys, I think we are about finished for today. We sprayed this over here. We got some wood cut up. We just let this dry. We sprayed the crap out of this. We sprayed this in there and the other spray. So it's pretty drenched right now. We'll let that dry. How long is your guarantee, Mr. Professional? <laughs> Three weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> we sprayed the ground too, yeah. so. Until they get hungry again. Oh, this one's almost gone. So I'm gonna spray the rest in here, let this dry, and then uh, we'll probably finish it up tomorrow or the next day. All right, guys, we'll see you guys next video.